We're Turbo Gato, and we're on DME TV. Way too much flex, flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. Yeah. I got it off the muscle. Yeah. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. Yeah. But now they looking. We met and originally we set up uh, a time where we were going to play music together. I had a drum set that had been collecting dust for years. And he plays guitar. And we actually met here at the art bar. And we just decided, hey, that's enough. Guitar and drums is enough to start a band. And so we spent about two hours dusting off my drums, setting them up, figuring out where they go and all of that. And it's we pretty much have been playing music ever since. That was almost three years ago. Yeah, that was our first day. Yeah, yeah well, was... we pretty much rocked out the whole night. Yeah. Uh, it was the creation of the band and it was the creation of our relationship. Well, my um, my name my nickname has been Super Cat for a long time. It came out of like the first email, the first hotmail um, address. I had to come up with something, and so we thought, you know, there's already a, an artist called Super Cat, so we just tried to make our own version of it, and it's like Turbo Gatto. Gatto is the Italian word for cat, so it's kind of like the Italian version of Super Cat. We we also are fans of this band called Personal and the Pizzas. And we were listening to them one day, and we just kind of came up with the idea of, you know, if we could do a theme type band, what would it be? And we both threw that our cats. So we kind of started framing everything around our cats and right. started writing songs about all of it. Hence the, the weird names of our songs, mostly about our kids. <laughs> so it's like a themed rock music too. Okay. It's, we call it cat rock. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> so it's cat rock. Yeah. It's, it's that basic. Okay. I mean, uh, we've been to shows and stuff and before anyone heard us play, they uh, were trying to ask us to describe it and the only way to describe it is just cat rock. And um, it's, it's kind of a... Um, a mix of a lot of different types of rock, but um, so there's no one genre. No, not really. It kind of fits in like whatever you kind of like as far as rock. Because we have some songs that sound kind of rockabilly, and some of it sounds punk, and some of it sounds like '70s rock. So it kind of touches everything. But you know, I, I, I think that's a good thing. Instead of just being just one sound. I think we combine everything we like and then it comes out as the cat rock. Well, um, the first big song that we started working on was a song called Catnip. And if you want a good introduction to the, the music we do, I would recommend that. Um, okay. I think the big one that we're probably pushing off of the album is called Lucifer. And it's about uh, this guy going into a haunted house in the hallway and finding this special book, kind of like the Necronomicon, summoning the cat from hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of paints the story. Well, a lot of our stuff kind of paints the story. Um, it sounds dumb on paper, but it's actually pretty good. <laughs> this is it. This is this our one. first, our first album. Okay. We released an EP of about four songs in April. Okay. Um, just to learn, get used to recording and, and that. But this is our first actual full length album today. <laughs> Recorded at the Jam Room Studio. At the Jam Room. By Jay Mathis. Yes. Okay. And that's your favorite studio? Well, it's the only studio we've ever done that, <laughs> but at the same time, they're really great. It's been amazing. <laughs> okay. It's been a learning experience, and everybody there has been super patient with helping us set up and just figure out what we're doing and how to record. So it's been like a crash course in recording while doing it at the same time. And they, they've been great. The, broom, the boom room is next door. That's yeah. where Fat Red right. does a lot of these recordings. Right. Yeah. Been Name dropping. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're thinking Lucifer. Yeah, yeah. We, have, 
one, um, the first song that we posted at Bandcamp is called Jinx in the City. Okay. It's after one of our cats. He just wrote a song, a story about her. And um, yeah, the, the, I think the single that we're going to put up front for this one is Lucifer. But the title track, Paw Power, which was a sort of a play on Iggy and the Stooges, Wow Power, but with Paw, <laughs> with paw Power. So those are probably the, the main ones. We'll put the title track up there first. <laughs> well, if you want to break down the rock and roll like as basic as it, as it would be, I think the main thing we always try to model stuff from would be Iggy and the Stooges. Um, they just rock. Okay. Honestly, you don't think they rock? Years. <laughs> okay. We like a whole lot. Of things, so. Yeah, I mean that's not the only thing we like. But that was kind of the one that really stuck in. Like. So. And that's a good point. Um, I would say just do it. Honestly, um, figure it out along the way. Uh, I was. I mean, I was 42 at the point that we started to put this together, and I never thought that I would be in a band at that point. But at a certain point, it's like, why not? Why not do all the things you've always wanted to do? So do it, figure it out along the way, um, meet people, put what you have into it, and don't forget that it should always be fun. I know this sounds corny, but I say follow your dreams, but don't quit your day job. <laughs> quit your day job. Because <laughs> while, while you work your regular job, you know, this is something to look forward to. This is something fun. And you want to build from that to where you can quit your day job. You never day. know. Yeah, I mean, anything can happen. So, I mean, I, I've been wanting to do this for 10 years, and once I met her, it finally fell into place. So, I'm not super stoked. Do you want to handle that? Sure. Or should so, I read it off of our card? We can take it out, too, because of the yeah. um, We have a, face, a Facebook site, just Turbo Gato, and we have an Instagram as well. But it's the Facebook and the Bandcamp. Bandcamp is where we post most of our music. And we also have um, a Wix website. That's uh, HTTP, two forward, no, oh, backslash, whatever. Backslash. You, know, you, yeah, you, you know how to do that. <laughs> TurboGatoBand.WixSite.com forward slash catrock. And uh, yeah, we got Facebook. And, uh, I kind of do a lot of Instagram stuff. But, um, I mostly just run that on my personal page. Okay. But she she posts a lot of stuff, band stuff too. So a lot of the stuff is on the on the different yeah. the same stuff we post. Yeah, we're kind of on it. Yeah. Thank you. That works like fun. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You guys. Thank you. Hustle. <laughs> 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 Never know what's in the duffel. Way too much flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking, cause they never know what's in the duffel.